welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day wherever you are. So today's video is going to be a uh, unboxing slash review on this poly gel from Roslyn. This is the clear. Um, Roslyn actually reached out to me and sent over their clear poly gel. Um, I do have their pink poly gel and I loved it so very much. I love their consistency. It just it's just soft and it's easy to um, mold and get your nails nice and pretty and formed. So we're gonna go ahead and use this poly gel today. Thank you so much, Roslyn, for reaching out to me and asking me to uh, review slash demo your clear poly gel again. So th um, I'm sorry, your poly gel again. It's the first time I did it in pink. This time I'll be doing it in clear. So let's go ahead and let's get right into this. So this actually came with two of the clear poly gels and these are both the 60 ml bottles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up one. Here is the packaging. And let's see if this open. I have some type of inspo for today. So I'm kind of excited for this to see how this works. It may be a fail, but we're gonna try to get our creative juices flowing here. Um, so let's go ahead and let's swatch this clear. All right, so we're gonna squeeze this. There is the clear. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So we went ahead and cured this poly gel and it's looking really clear to me. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into this design. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my glove. This is what we will be doing today. Let me get my lamp. Okay, so um, here are my fingers. So we're gonna be using this peel off base coat because I wanna see how this works today, um, especially for the pop off method. Um, you guys know I typically use cuticle oil and top coat, but I wanted to try this out. So let's do that, right? fingers cured and let's go ahead and let's do my thumb All right, so this peel out face coat is on so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my tips and this is a zero and we're gonna go ahead and get out my sizes tips out. I'm going to go ahead and adhere them with my top coat. just did a quick flash gear for these nail tips. I'm gonna go ahead and put these into my lamp so I can get a full 60 second cure. All right, so I have the nail tips on and 
I am gonna go ahead and remove the shine from these nail tips. I'm gonna just go over briefly with a nail file. Also did shape the tips as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out my um, alcohol. One second. So instead of me getting my big old jug, I'm actually just gonna pour it out of my spray bottle. This is what we will be using as my slip solution. And I have my poly gel here that I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to try something different. I've never done this before by all means, right? I wanna see if I can create like a clear marbled nail. Um, so I'm gonna be using some marbled inks. I'm gonna be using this violet, this green, and this black from uh, Red Iguana. And I'm gonna be creating a marbled look. Hopefully it will look good. If not, we will go back to the drawing board. Again, this is something that I have never really done, but you know, I'm willing to try to create different things. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use these for today. We're gonna figure it out some way, somehow. Um, I am also going to be using my brush here for my poly gel application. And let's go ahead and let's get into it. Fingers crossed that this turns out good. If not, you guys will be like, up. Oh, let's do something different. All right, so let's take a look at this violet. the marble ink the colors you'll see them and let's go ahead and let's get into laying this poly gel to start applying my marbled ink. So I just decided to put little drops of the inks on the poly gel and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure the poly gel. Along with me curing this poly gel after I take it out of the lamp, I am also going to apply a top coat. The reason that I'm doing this is because um, I'm using alcohol as my slip solution, right? So if I just go over the nail with alcohol, I'm gonna rub off the alcohol ink. So I did go ahead and do the top coat and clearly I lost the rest of the footage from the thumbnail, but don't worry, don't fret. I'm going to show you all what I am doing on my rest of, on the rest of my fingers. So don't fret. It turned out really nice. Um, definitely gave that a uh, Halloween dark vibe to me. So yeah, so stay tuned. 
Okay, so here I am applying my first bead of poly gel. And once I apply this poly gel and get it down the nail tip, that is when I'm gonna go ahead and take my inks and just kind of do random dots with all three colors to achieve that marbled look. Okay, so here is where I'm about to start dropping my marble inks on top of the uncured poly gel. So I did the purple first and then I went in with the green and then I tried to only do just a little bit of black to kind of tie that in. So once I have the marble inks on, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the lamp. what the nail is looking like so far. Um, because this is alcohol inks, and not only that, I'm also using alcohol as my slip solution. If I was to just go ahead and start applying another bead, I would erase all of this alcohol. Okay, so I'm actually going to take my top coat and I'm going to go ahead and put top coat on top of the alcohol inks. And then I'm going to do another cure so that way it will lock in that color. Okay. All right, so we have our top coat on and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my second bead. Focusing more on this apex area. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my alcohol inks. Again, this cuticle bead is not cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my inks down where I want them to be, trying to get them as close as possible, at least to cover the entire um, clear part, which is the clear poly gel. And then once I have it to where I like it with the inks that are on the poly gel, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And then when I take my hand out of the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and apply a top coat to seal in that color. that is what the nail is looking like and again um right now it's okay you know it's it's working out in my favor again i have uh never played around with like adding marble inks to poly gel before again this is probably something i don't know should you do don't ask me um <laughs> i'm just experimenting with different designs but it does work it doesn't do anything to the poly gel for now, it just adds the color to the poly gel. So I'm actually going to keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those same steps. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my first bead. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my inks. And then I'm gonna cure that nail. And then I'm gonna apply a top coat to that nail, put back in the lamp for another 60 seconds. And then apply my uh, cuticle bead and then apply my marble inks and then put that in the lamp to cure take it out the lamp and then apply my top coat and put it back in the lamp and so on and so forth so i'm probably going to let this go for the rest of this nail 
and then I will speed it up and we will get to the uh, fouling process. Okay, so all of my nails are done. Again, that shine you're seeing is actually the top coat, but this top coat that I use does have a tacky layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some alcohol or alcohol wipe, and I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my nail before it's time for me to do my fouling, shaping, and buffing.
done with my fouling, shaping, and buffing, I'm gonna go ahead and take an alcohol wipe and cleanse my nails. Again, you can also go to the sink and go wash your hands with soap and water. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off my nails, try to get them as dust and dirt free as much as possible. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on with my design. Okay, so for today's design, I am or have been really into the whole pop art design slash cartoon nails. So I kind of still wanted to do something along the lines of that. However, just not making it so cartoony, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I still wanted to replicate the cartoon idea slash design but i kind of wanted to take it to the next level a little bit with different colors instead of using just black and then a lighter color and then a white and things like that so that was my inspo for today it's just pretty much more pop arts um and then towards the end of the video you will see that i did do the nails matte even though this gold was popping and i was like i just can't go out like that with having that gold uh goddess gel not shiny so i ended up changing it to a top coat so you will see that but right here i'm taking my brushes by beetles and i am going around the outline of the nail and i'm going to repeat this for all of my nails and then i will be back
Okay, so my hand is almost done in the lamp. Oh, it is done. So for my colors that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a dark green. And I'm also going to use a purple. So that way I can give that cartoon effect. So I did go ahead and change brushes. And now I'm using my short brush from Beatles. And I'm going to go ahead and start the line process on all of the nails. And I did go ahead and change from that original purple to a darker purple. So this one is by D&D. &D, and this one gave more of that um, brighter purple look that I was going for. Like I said, I always end up not liking my lines and I start all over. There's nothing wrong with starting over. So we're going to go ahead and get this right, okay? Okay, so I have all of my lines on. Again, I tried not to really do the traditional with the black and white. I tried to do different designs. And again, it all kind of pretty much stemmed off those marble inks where I used the violet, the green, and the black. So now that I have that done, we're gonna go ahead and get right into our matte top coat. Again, I did go ahead and matte these nails because I felt like I still wanted to give that cartoony look or a pop art nail look. Um, but it was cute, but the shine just did it for me. Um, and it might just be because that shine hit that gold. like. As I was applying this velvet matte top coat, I was like, these nails have to be shiny. And I should have just knew it from then, right? But I was like, no, nah, let's see. Let's see how these look. You know, I'm going to just cure the thumb and we'll go from there. So I did end up doing all the nails matte and then I also did them glossy. So stay tuned for this final look. So here is what the nail looks like when it's matte and again like I said there was really nothing wrong with the matte but 
it was just something about the the gloss so I was like well let's just see what it looks like with all of them matte right because you really can't tell because the thumb is all bad low it's lonesome and then I'm like I need to see all four of these fingers together so I was like let's go ahead and let's do all of these top coat and then we'll make our decision there with the final look again this is the velvet matte top coat again i still wanted to give that cartoony look and nothing is wrong with the velvet together um however i had to go with the gloss because of that gold the goddess gel it just needed to sparkle but these are still gorgeous and you can actually wear these either mattes or glossy uh, matter of fact, in the comments down below, let me know which one was your favorite. Would you go with matte or would you go with glossy? Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the glossy looks like. Yes, the gloss did it for me. It just, it took it to a whole nother level. So these are what the nails look like when they are glossy. I just went ahead and applied the top coat, uh, the deluxe top coat from RNS on top of the nail. So hopefully you all have enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that post notification bell so that way you know every time that I post a video or I go live. And as I stated before, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know which one was your favorite, the matte or the gloss. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Remember, please be safe, love on your people, and take care of yourself. Bye, y'all.